We actually have a really cool opportunity for you. We're talking about Indy's minority at-risk youth. Getting a chance to discover careers in science and aquatics, Seascope is on a mission to increase diversity in those fields and in marine conservation, which is super cool. The program teaches water safety, basic swimming and snorkeling, and it's an opportunity for kids to become underwater explorers, which I love. And the founder of Seascope is Dr. Allison Fisher, joining us here live. Dr. Fisher, let me tell you something. This is so important because I didn't realize how much I liked the water until I was I realized that I wasn't scared of the water anymore. <laughs> it was like steps. How did you even start this program in the first place? Um, so I've always had an interest in science and aquatics. And during COVID, a lot had changed. I had some time to spend more time scuba diving, mm. um, which I fell in love with. And I thought to myself, why don't I bring an opportunity to youth in Indianapolis to experience the underwater world? Do you see how cool she is? She, <laughs> I was scuba diving. <laughs> And we were having fun. I love that. Okay, so you've seen some really cool transformations when it's come to some of the kids in the program. Talk to me about some of those. Oh, wow. So I have kids ranging from the ages of 10 up to 18. Oh, wow. I started doing a swim clinic in the summer, so that opened the doors for younger students. But I have these older middle school, high school students that actually have become scuba divers. So they're open water certified divers. The certification is is good for life. And this summer, thanks to our sponsors, they're actually going to be able to do some advanced diving and uh, pursue things like underwater photography, navigation, and things like that, wreck diving, deep diving. But yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. You literally, I, first of all, I am so proud of you. You <laughs> opened you. up a whole world for a ton of community members. Like this is Amazing. You've even trained for advanced scuba diving in the Barbados and the Dominican Republic, which sounds absolutely amazing. You know, so in doing so, you discovered the experience eases your anxiety. Talk to me about that. Yeah, journey. so I actually suffered 16 years from anxiety. I used to get panic attacks. And then during my dive master training, which is the first level of being able to be on the professional side to teach, it just went away. And I attribute that to a lot of things. God just delivering me mm. from the anxiety, but also using the environment to do so. So connecting with the environment in a meaningful way, I think was key. I love that. You know, especially I have suffered from anxiety myself. And so to even see that this brought you such a long way, that is encouragement for me. I like that. Well, okay, you got to tell us about Gio and Anthony. Oh, yes. Giovanni and Anthony. Anthony Scott goes to Arlington Middle. Giovanni Tunstall, he's at Thrival. And these two students were my last students that were completing their open water diving certifications in the Florida Keys. So I take them out to the Keys, not oh, these wow. quarries. Yes. And they also got an advanced specialty, so they got their boat specialty. They were able to participate in learning how to plant coral reefs. So that's what this is here. It's a piece of dead coral. So Ooh. the goal of the program is to teach these young people why it's important to conserve our ocean planet, because most of our planet is the ocean. And we, due to global warming and pollution, we're actually killing and destroying our coral reef systems. Wow. So there's an educational component to the program. Not all the kids are becoming divers. Some are snorkelers. Okay. Not all the kids are able to go to Florida to certify, but they do learn how to be eco-warriors. I love this, and I love that you brought all this gear. Okay, so like, what's this and what's this? Yeah, so the snorkel is, um, what I do is teach the kids basic water safety, and I found that with the snorkel, they're able to breathe and put their face in the water, and it eradicates a lot of fear. Like you said, mm -hmm. fear contributes to people not wanting to swim. So with them being able to breathe, I find that they relax, they begin to float, and before you know it, they're actually swimming before they even knew they were swimming. Oh, we need you. Look, I need you. I need to have my husband in this. I know he's a little past the age limit, but I mean, this is amazing. Manatees are my favorite animal, oh, and yeah. so like I need to, I need to learn about this for kids out there. How do they get involved with Cisco? So right now we're doing a registration, and it's online at Cscope Fun F U N at uh, dot org and then also you guys can reach out to cscope fun at gmail.com if you guys have some inquiries best thing to do is to go on the website and if your kids interested go ahead and fill out the information we'll get back to you guys as soon as possible with availability but there'll be a lot of aquatics activities going on this year i am excited about it dr <laughs> allison fisher you are so cool. Thank you so much for visiting with us. Please come back sometime. Yes, I'm, I might need a lesson or two. <laughs> or two. Mm -hmm. Dr. Allison Fisher, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Alexis. Well, we will be right back after this break.